Obviously, the economics of farming have to work, and that's where you know you still have to be able to pencil a profit, or yeah. you, you hope to pencil a profit when you're putting in your grain. And so, wheat is borderline, but we found that we can produce the yields for our wheat that can make it profitable. And then, by following with uh, a cover crop, our corn and our soybeans are more profitable the next year. So you can't tie that just that one year's profitability. To, to spring wheat. I mean, you've got to take that, that extra gain you get from corn and beans and attribute that back to your small grain. And, and small grain. And yep. So, yeah, I heard Shane told me something like a 15% yield bump behind the wheat. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I'd say yes. And that's for corn and soybeans, or was that for a particular crop? That's probably both. Both, okay. Both in this area, yes. Having that small grain in your rotation, you have a lot better weed suppression. We necessarily don't have the weed problems that maybe some neighbors have. Residue from the weed or the small grains creates a nice cover on the soil so your weed seeds aren't even getting in there to germinate. <laughs>